How y'all doing, Synth Wizards? Uh, today we're going to look at some really common failure points in a wide variety of uh, electronics, whether it be your synthesizer, effect pedals, you know, anything that sees a lot of use is going to be more susceptible to damage, whether it be your filter cutoff, your volume, um, and all your sound, you know, it really begins in one, one very important spot, and that's the power supply. So plugging in those adapters, those IEC cables, that's going to see a lot of use. Uh, today on the bench, we have a Roland RCE10. Um, these little rack mount effect units are really neat. They sound great on synthesizers, specifically because they are built to handle much higher line level. As we can see, we got our power adapter plugged in. But when I go to turn on the unit, nothing happens. Now, here's a very easy way to test to see if the adapter is what's your problem. If I apply a little bit of pressure, well look, it comes right on. So right away, I know I have a broken solder joint. So what I'm going to do is unplug the cable and take the unit apart and we'll go ahead and fix that crack. So here's a pro tip for all you guys out there. Harbor Freight has these really neat little magnetic cups. They don't cost more than five bucks and it's a real easy way to not lose your screws. <laughs> so if we get this unit flipped over, we can go ahead and pull off that panel and take a look at the power supply. All right, so what we can see right here is clearly that there's been some damage to the pad and it is lifted but there is a portion of the pad that is still attached to the PCB so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to lightly scuff where the pad is still located and kind of expose some of that copper trace in between and I just want to make sure that I have a really good connection between this lead and the circuit board Now once I've done that, I'm ready to apply some new solder. And I want to be pretty generous with it. And make sure that it is making contact with the portion of the pad that I scuffed away. Well actually, <laughs> another pro tip. I was about to start screwing my screws back in, which would have actually been kind of an amateur mistake. It's very easy to assume that your problem has been resolved and put a unit all the way back together only to realize the problem was never fixed. So let's go ahead and turn this on and see if it works. There we go, right as rain. So now our unit is ready to be reassembled. All right, so we're gonna take this Boss Chorus Ensemble for a little test drive. I got the Korg DW8000, fantastically underrated synthesizer.